this month is all about the rib cage and how we can loosen more superficial muscles to really access those deeper muscles that maybe need to breathe a little better. So today we're going to talk about revolved chair and there's a couple different ways you can do this. Um, you know, you can come into chair and then you can put the palms together and then hook on the knee and rotate. Um, today we're going to talk about a little bit of a gentler version of this and I like it um, because it gives you a little more flexibility to play with this pose. So we're going to put a block here. You can use a block there if you need to. I'm going to come this way so you guys can see better. So as we come into chair, right, then instead of clasping the hands or bringing the hands to the chest, pardon me, you still can do that. But then instead of that, I want to rotate the hand down and one hand up. Now, if you can't reach the floor, you can bring a block here and you can bring the gaze up to the top hand. Now notice my knees shifted. It's important to keep them together. Not pulling together, but um, keep them in line with one another. So we're here. Now you could change this block even higher if you needed to. You know, if you need it lower or just take it out altogether. Um, and I like that really works on, in, in these poses, we're going to work on the lats. We're going to work on a lot of different muscles, but we're really going to focus on the rib cage. So if we come here and we just twist, it puts a lot of torque on the shoulder. So in placing the hand down, now you could place the hand on this side. You could place it over here, wherever is comfortable. And we can bring the gaze straight if that's too much to look up towards the top hand. 